meet a man at 60. They sure have so many stories to tell. From the good times, the bad times, and the challenges they face all through the years. Same is the case for Nigeria, as we celebrate Nigeria's 60th Independence Day on this day. I mean, on the 1st of, on the 1st of October 1960, we screamed freedom at last. But here we are 60 years down the line, and there are so many questions in the minds of Nigerians. What has Nigeria achieved so far? How has Nigeria been able to fare in the last 60 years? And of course, where are we going from here? Those are the questions we'll be asking some of the people on the street today as we get to know how they feel about Nigeria at 60, if they're excited about Nigeria at 60 or being Nigerian at all, and their wishes for Nigeria moving forward. My name is Elisha Moyosoralua. This is Anyola Badmos TV, and as you can see, we're definitely repping the Nigerian color, the green, and white. Stay right here. Let's go talk to people and hear what they have to say. And all time favorites. We still believe in Nigeria. You know, there's this saying that Rome was not built in a day. So what we should do as Nigerians, even at this 60 independent, is to keep on believing God, praying for Nigeria, and then do all we can do individually to see that you are doing the right thing. Because when we are complaining about Nigerian situation, corruption and all these things, it starts from individual. So we should not look at the government people. We should look at ourselves what we are going to do for this country. So we keep on praying for the nation, doing the right thing. And then I want to believe that at the end of the day, Nigeria will be a better place to stay, even better than some other countries. Actually, I believe in Nigeria because I believe it's a nation that will be great. We have been great, but due to corruption and, all, and some other things, so I still believe in our country that we are going to be great. Although so many things will be put in place, good governance and all that. So I wish our country good. Well, to me, I think for Nigeria is a Nigeria is a good country. God will don't bless Nigeria for everything we want. If you talk of where everything, God he don't bless us. But the girl one thing where I want me all of us know, and if this thing you know day, Nigeria you know go better like lie. Now they this all of us must repent. The repent where they talk, nobody say everybody will turn to Christian or everybody will turn to Muslim. The repent is say everybody must have a change of mind. This change of mind be say. You should learn how to manage what belongs to you. Now we told say President Buhari, he don't go very soon, Buhari, he go go. Another person where he go rule very soon, that one too, he go go. But if me and you have a change of mind, if he be saying that me and you will go rule tomorrow, this change of mind include if you say that Tenera be your own, learn how to manage Tenera, no look another person home. That is why our politician we will get in down. If they flourish our money, they know the salary way they give them should be enough for them, but then they look into another account. That is why. So if one of us have a change of mind from now, Nigeria will go better. That is it. It is not a major thing that everybody be Christian or everybody be Muslim. But we should have a change of mind which is repent and also English it talking. So that is my whole point of view. My will for Nigeria is, uh, me I get bigger wish for Nigeria. Make everybody just have that change of mind, everything go good. Now my whole wish be that. May everybody get them for change of mind. Nigeria, it go good. You go discover and say, even though it was say with me, I even the wish be say, it was say, now me now, I be president for Nigeria today. I go say, all the widow now, make one they collect salary, even though not. 20,000 20, right now, something. Anybody will be offered, you no know, get papa, you no know, get mama. When I go to free school, if you have this employment, it's there for most of people, not this thief, thief, where it's there for this thing. You know what happen? And most of these people now, tomorrow now, they'll be president you now. So I wish Nigeria good luck will make everything better. But that's it, make no forget them. A change of mind, which is repent. That is it. And the way things is going on a daily basis, things is becoming worse. So, and we can't take it longer again. So, on a daily basis, you look at graduate on the streets, no job, nothing, nothing. We are just straight, uh, roaming around the streets, no job, nothing, nothing. So, it's not fair. So, I, I don't believe in this country again. I will not lie to you. There's nothing God cannot do. 
even though the economy might not be all right, might be going through a lot of difficulties, you know, insecurity, finance problem, businesses are not going, coupled with the recent COVID-19 issue. But I hope here, I still have hope in Nigeria. I believe God is able to turn everything down for better for us in this nation. So I will encourage people not to give up. Let's keep on, regardless of your religion, let's keep on praying for Nigeria. Things will improve. God will interview. New moon, new days will come on our way in the name of Jesus. Before this, our brother came into power, at least a, a, a derico of um, rice you can get for 250 naira. Now, rice has been banned, it's a contraband. You don't eat foreign rice anymore, even if you see it. It's quite expensive, and when you even put it inside the pot, it will not even... You hardly believe it's foreign rice, so I don't, I'm not even sure whether it is even the foreign rice you are buying or not. Secondly, they say we should buy Nigeria rice. Even the Nigeria rice, well, I even say it's more expensive than even the foreign rice. So where are we going? But Nigeria is your home. What do we do? We still have to say I manage it like that and pray to God for help. So that's just it. Everything, everything is just going up every day by day. Gary, the same thing. What you buy in the market today or in the morning, go back in the evening, the price has changed. It's no longer the same. So wait, what, what are you talking about? We say we have a president. Even when he took over power, the first few months, maybe like six months or there about he took over power, he was traveling up and down. Even with the situation of the country, some of them to sit down and, you know, take care of the people that has elected him. Up and down. It's going up and down. But so I don't know. We don't have any choice. We are Nigerians. We have to accept it. Do anywhere it is. Happy Independence Day, Nigeria. Um, fellow Nigerians, if you are happy, Happy Independence Day. But if you are not happy, sorry. Yo. Um, now Nigeria is clocking 60 by the 1st of October. Um, there are so many things to thank God for. Number one thing is the gift of life. Killings are everywhere in the land, especially in the northern part of Nigeria. But today, you and I, we are alive to experience this beautiful um, celebration. I feel that Nigeria needs to put all hands on this, can work on herself. We Nigerian citizens, we have so much to do, so much. If you look at the leaders who are leading us, sorry to say, it seems they are working for themselves. They don't really want to carry us along because if they want to carry us along, there will be total security for everybody in this country. So, I don't feel that Nigeria is safe for now. You know? How can you be sleeping with one eye closed and the other is open? There is no security. But I pray God that come 2023, there will be better change in this country. And um, things will start working well. Because I hope that, I believe that God will give us somebody who is better. We all hope in our leaders, but by God's grace, God knows the best for us. So, come 2023, God will give us better people. Two persons that will lead us well as a president and a vice president. So, and if you vote for me, I will repair your phone and also, you know, make sure that you have everything you need. You need water, you and fire, you, you know, that is what we are here for. Thank you. God bless. Um, and you're all about more TV. Mm? Thank you very much. In case the president is seeing this, you need to work on the country because this is not a country. We are being oppressed every single day. And for a country that's going to be 60, and at this point, we don't even know where we are going then. Man, we failed as a nation. I don't believe in Nigeria. Well, we can always grow. There's always opportunity for growth. But then it's just really, really slow and annoying. So hopefully we'll become better. Once we are 60, a miracle will happen. Protecting ourselves is protecting our country. 
believing in ourselves definitely also is believing in our country. We are Nigerians and we make up Nigeria. Whatever we do as a people is what would make Nigeria better or otherwise. I know a lot of people have expressed themselves and also talked about some of the things they hope to see Nigeria become. But one thing I can say for sure, that if we remain determined as a people, we will definitely see the dream come true. This is Enola Badmos TV and again we say Happy Independence Day Nigeria. Till next time, remember to continue to pray for Nigeria even as we say God bless Nigeria and Happy Independence. My name is Enola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Enola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe That's it on trending for today. Many thanks for staying here on Enola Badmos TV. Remember to like and subscribe as we bring you more stories during this.